Hi there, welcome to my channel. I just wanna say thank you so much for 25,000 subscribers. Um, it's crazy to me how much this channel has grown over the past year and I've been getting a new influx of subscribers. So thank you so much. Since I have so many new people here, um, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. If you are new here, my name is Cindy. I'm 40 years old and I have borderline personality disorder. And on this channel, I am sharing my journey of healing, growth, and trying to find my own way in the world, find my own self-worth. And it has been quite the journey, <laughs> but we're getting there. And I'm running with a new tagline, okay? Here we discuss mental health, magic, and the mundane. And today's vlog is a mundane vlog for mundane people. I don't know if you've ever seen the League of Gentlemen. Um, there's a little skit that they do. This is a local shop for local people. Anyway, it's fucking hilarious. You should watch it. I'm stealing that idea and we're doing a mundane vlog for mundane people. So if you're in the mood to watch somebody water their plants and clean their apartment, you're on the right video because that's what we're gonna do today. And who knows, I might throw a few nuggets of wisdom at you as we go. P.S. I just got an email that my new Disturbia dress and jewelry was delivered. So we're gonna be trying that on today and I'm so happy because it's Thursday and I wanna wear that out this weekend. So crossing my fingers that it fits well. So first of all, I gotta do some laundry. It's Thursday and it's laundry day and I had to put together some kind of outfit today. So I've never worn this together. Um, my like long tunic, flannel tunic with skinny jeans, but it, it doesn't look too bad. You know what it's like on laundry day, right? You just gotta scrounge something together. You feel me. Um, I'm not going anywhere today. Today I'm just poking around the apartment, doing stuff around here. I did go out earlier and get some lunch, uh, but now I gotta get these chores done, y'all. Let's start with laundry. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far I don't know y'all, I tried to do a transition there. We'll find out in editing if it worked or not. So I've got a whole basket of clothes that I need to fold up that have been sitting here for like since last week. Um, but mostly I need to wash like my leggings and t-shirts and a couple dresses and stuff. Um, I'm really excited to try on my new Disturbia dress and we will do that in a little bit after I get the bedroom cleaned. So right now I'm using this Arm & Hammer laundry detergent. Um, it's not bad, it's all right. I prefer to use a natural laundry detergent, but the thing is, it just doesn't work worth a shit, okay? Some products just, the natural version just does not cut it, and laundry detergent is one of those things that I'm just using the industrial version. I like to use natural products in my home, in my cosmetics and things when possible, but also I'm not gonna just use something that doesn't work worth a shit just because it's natural. I can buy natural and non-natural i don't even know what the opposite of that is but you know what i'm saying so i'm planning to take myself out this weekend i don't know where i'm gonna go yet i've been taking myself out on a date every weekend and it's super fun saves me from having just to just sit home alone i like to go out and be amongst the people all right so there's all my clothes in large um we're gonna set this to cold cold always wash my clothes in cold and knit permanent press I'm just gonna do a regular load. There we go. Well, before we go any further, the dogs have demanded that we take a cuddle break in the floor, and I can't say no to that. Isn't that right, Bella? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, she just jumped up right in my face. You stuck your tongue right in my nostril, Belle. <laughs> I like to try to have floor time with them every day and it's usually Bella is the one who demands it. She's like, it's time for floor time, mom. You better get down here, bed us and love us. <laughs> so next up, we're gonna tackle this bed. I really need to make my bed. I haven't made it in about three days and it is um, all over the place. But I gotta put up these sweaters first because I just throw my sweaters all over the house and then every couple days I gather them up and hang them up again. So in my, I need to do a closet clean out really badly because so much of this stuff in here does not fit me anymore. It's stuff that I had before I even lost weight. And some stuff like, I have a couple Disturbia dresses that don't fit me, or I have actually one Disturbia dress that doesn't fit me and I only wore it twice. So I'm thinking about maybe putting it on eBay, getting a little cash back for it, as well as some of my old Torrid stuff that's in good shape. I used to have an eBay store and that kind of stuff does really well on there. If you, you know, put it at the right price. But one of these days, pretty soon, we're gonna do a closet clean out because I need to get ready for spring and summer. The sweaters are about to go 
in the closet for good. <laughs> and I'm realizing that I don't have that many clothes for spring and summer. I have like a couple dresses, um, some shorts that I don't really like and some t-shirts, but I really wanna get some more shorts and more dresses for spring and summer. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be working on that over the next couple months. All right, more, more, time to make the bed. Oh, you're back there too, Bella. I didn't even see you. Up, up, pups. Pop up, pop up. close enough the dogs are pleased and I know I was telling you guys about how Bella buries her toys in the bed well look what I found one two three four five of her toys Bella do you really need five toys in the bed so I have this little toy box here in the living room where I keep their toys and Bella just picks and chooses from day to day which one's her current favorite I just took a break from chores because I did so many right I needed a break after that all that hard work doing laundry and making my bed but anyway I went to go post on my social media and I thought I would um, do a little spiel here so if you're not following me on Instagram Facebook or Twitter go follow me you can find all the links down below in the description box um, I've always posted a lot on Instagram but I've started to post again on Twitter and Facebook so go follow me there I post different content on all three platforms so just saying why aren't you following me yet? Get over there. And then I went outside to get some fresh air and I saw a little caterpillar uh, crawling on the ledge on my balcony. So I thought I would look it up in my animal speak book. Um, this book was sent to me by a subscriber and I use it all the time when I run across different animals in my life. I don't know, I run into a lot of animals. I live in a forest. So this is the Animal Speak Pocket Guide by Ted Andrews. I will link to it down below in the description box. It's just kind of fun to look up the different animals that you see. So I was gonna see if Caterpillar was in here. Let's see, insects and arachnids. Caterpillar, it says, good luck and new birth are at hand. Take a gentle and quiet approach to endeavors. Be realistic and shed the old. Ooh, that's good advice for me right now. Um, the overall theme of seeing a caterpillar is good luck. Haven't pulled out the old animal speak book on a vlog in a while. So I also, earlier this morning, I saw a beautiful blue jay back there. And so let me just see. Let me just see. Give me some more advice, universe. What are you trying to tell me by showing me a blue jay? Choose wisely. Be careful of choices you make. Choose so others do not get hurt. Don't be afraid. Stay with choices you have made. Oh, that's definitely good advice for me because I tend to flip-flop a lot, or at least I used to. The old me tended to flip-flop with decisions a lot, but nowadays I feel much more stable in myself and I'm able to stick to decisions better than I used to be able to. Um, I think that was part of identity disturbance. I would constantly change my mind on the things I wanted to do, the things that I valued, the things that I was passionate about, but that really hasn't been happening to me that much lately. Um, I've definitely seen an improvement in that area. And I think that just comes from overall improving my self image and feeling good about who I am. So yeah, there's a little inspiration for you. So now I'm gonna get back to chores because I still have quite a few things I need to get done. So now we're gonna play a little game called what the hell is on my dining room table because I don't even know. Um, we've got some books over here that I've been reading. Oh, this was sent to me recently by a subscriber. The Witch's Herbal Apothecary, really love that one. And I've been reading The Green Witch's Garden as well as I've been working on my magical garden. So I need to put those away. Um, my laptop, oh, let's read a positive affirmation together. I am worthy of love and respect regardless of others' presence in my life. Honestly, I don't really use that one very much anymore. Um, but hey, why not? Let's say it to ourselves anyway. An old pack of gum. <laughs> yeah, that's an old one. Need to throw that out. My Disturbia package, we can't forget that. I'm gonna go try that on in a minute after I finish cleaning up in here. Then I got this soap container. I bought this soap container because I'm gonna use it to make my homemade face wash as soon as I get the essential oils I need on Monday. So we'll be doing that in a vlog. I got a candle and an arcade card. All right. <laughs> now I gotta put all this shit up. <laughs> 
So I just started cleaning this table and I was telling a whole story and realized I wasn't recording. Anyway, I got the whole table cleared off and then I'm just going to wipe it down with Murphy's Oil Soap. I try to do this about once or twice a week because I use this table a lot. Um, I bought this table on a discount at the furniture store when I first moved back to Hot Springs and it has some scratches on it, but I did not care. They only wanted like $80 for it. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it with the scratches on it. Um, I just try to, I just try to take care of it with the Murphy's oil soap the best I can and it's worked really well for me. And now that my desktop computer is fixed, I'm not going to need to use my laptop at the table anymore. So it'll look a little more put together over here, a little more organized. And then I'm going to light my candle so it smells nice in here. I'm still burning the Orchid Waters Mainstays candle that I got from Walmart. It smells really good. I have some stuff in there to make more candles of my own and I really want to do that uh, maybe in another vlog or a members live stream or something. I'd really like to make, use the rest of my candle supplies to make more candles. Next up, we're going to water plants and my plants are freaking thriving y'all. I'm so proud of myself. Look at my poinsettia growing like crazy still doing awesome in april and let me just check the soil so i just touched the soil with my finger see if it's moist um this one's pretty moist i think i watered it like two days ago so i don't think it needs any water today but i know that this one does this is my dracaena lemon lime yeah it's dry um so we're gonna water her and then let's check the Christmas cactus. Oh yeah, Christmas cactus needs water. Look at those beautiful blooms, y'all. I think it just needed more light. Somebody asked me how I got it to bloom. And honestly, it started blooming after I increased my uh, grow light time from eight hours to 12 hours on daylight savings. So I thought it needed less light, but apparently it needed more. My ivy is doing fantastic, y'all. It's actually starting to like vine out here. Um, it's probably going to need to be watered. Yep, that's pretty dry. And then my Tratoscantia over here is doing great. So when I actually, when I water them and move them, then I will turn them so that they get like even lighting. So I'll turn them when I bring them back. Yeah, that one's pretty dry. So I brought all these plants over into the kitchen and I'm just going to water them in the sink. These kind of smaller plants that I have here. So I'm going to start with the Christmas cactus and I want to be really careful with it. And I do like a lukewarm water temperature. And then I just use my little sink sprayer to gently water the soil. There we go. All right, that one's done. We'll move on to the ivy, which is, the, this is the first time I've successfully grown ivy. I did have another ivy plant before. But uh, yeah, it died. It died due to my neglect, but I'm not making that mistake again. Uh, this one's doing really well. All right, gonna move that one over to the other sink. Oh, I wanna be so careful of those blooms. Now this one, my lemon lime dracaena, it's, it's got new growth coming up, which is really nice. But it really needs to be repotted. Um, Sometime in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be visiting a local nursery to look for some new house plants. And at that time, I'm going to go ahead and buy a new planter for this plant and repot it. It's okay for the moment. This one seems to be doing really nicely since I repotted it in its new home as well. Um, I haven't seen too much new growth on it yet, but I think it's just getting settled in. Getting settled in. To oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I just knocked that off right into the Christmas cactus. Okay, good job, Cindy. All right, no harm, no foul. The blooms are still good. I was trying to make sure that the camera was recording this and I just knocked it right over. Okay, now while those drain here, I'm gonna go ahead and water my other plants that I don't move. Oh no, I almost forgot my dark mystery Pelea right here, which is my favorite plant. I love it so much. Um, yeah, I almost forgot about it because I moved it over onto the um, coffee table so it could get the indirect light from the window. And it seems to be doing pretty well there. I missed it every day to keep the humidity kind of high. And I've got my adorable little snail watering can here that I bought at Walmart last year. It was so cute and I had to have it. Um, so this is what I use to water my plants that 
I keep in one place and try not to move around. Now my ZZ plant, I do not, well, I only water it once a month. So it does not need to be watered right now, but I will go ahead and water my philodendron here, which you can see it's vining all down my bookshelf. Um, I did cut it back a little bit not too long ago and I may need to cut it back a little bit more, but whoops, I just spilled water all over the bookshelf because I'm trying to film and water at the same time. There we go. And actually for these, I think I'm gonna take them into the bathtub. I was gonna water them with the watering can, but they're kind of large. I think I'm gonna take them in the bathtub. Okay, so I've got them in the bathtub. Now my snake plant, it also doesn't need water very often, but it's been a long time since it's had a nice, um, good watering. This over here is Dracaena Janet Craig, and it also needs a good watering. So we're just gonna spray them both down. So I'm trying to film while I also do this, so I'm probably doing a horrible job. Um, but I also spray down the leaves when I bring them in the bathtub, and I will do this probably like once a month for my snake plant. Spray down the leaves and just get the soil really soaked really well. It honestly doesn't need to be watered more than like once a month. The Janet Craig I'll water more often. All done, I'm gonna leave these here to drain in the bathtub. And now the plants in the kitchen should be drained enough to move them back to the plant room. Oh, and my pothos, I already watered it yesterday whenever I took the dish rack away and cleaned behind there. I went ahead and watered the pothos then. So it is good to go. All right, now that the chores are done, it's time for the fun part. I'm about to try on my new Disturbia dress. I'm so excited. But first I wanna show you the piece of jewelry that I got. I actually bought a ring and I wanna start wearing rings more. I don't have any, so that fit me anyway. So um, I bought one, let's see how it looks. All right, so here's the packaging that it came in and it is a moth. It's a, it's a pretty big ring. I don't know if you can tell. Let me take it out of the package. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Oh my God, it's so cute. So I bought it in size small, medium. They only had like two sizes, small and medium and large. So I bought it in small slash medium and it's still kind of big on me. It fits my thumb though. So if you have really small fingers, um, the small medium might be a little bit big. You can see there like it's a little big, but I think I can wear it without it falling off and maybe I'll get like one of those little plastic things that you can put on it because that is super cute. I really like it. And there's like kind of how it looks on my on my whole hand. Don't pay attention to my chipped up nail polish. Today's nail polish day. I'm gonna do my nails tonight. And here I turned it around this way. I don't know which way you're supposed to wear it. I don't know which way I like it better, but it's definitely cute. Oh my God, y'all, this dress is everything I dreamed it would be. It is so cute. It's very flattering cut. Um, let me show you the pattern on it. So the pattern is like, um, there's tarot cards and like these hands and knives and um, chalice and a <laughs> snake flowers. It's very um, loud for me. I usually don't wear anything this, um, <laughs> this patterned, I guess you could say, but I loved it. It's purple. So I finally have a purple dress and it is so cute. I will link to this down in the description box below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. Um, I'll just link to the dress that I bought, but look how adorable that is. I love it. So I am definitely going to wear this out this weekend. And if you're a channel member, I'm gonna do a get ready with me for the members only vlog this week. So click the button down below to become a member if you wanna see me get ready in this dress. So this is a button down dress and uh, it's got like this fitted area right here under the bust. It is so cute, y'all. I love it. I'm so glad I went with this dress. All right, I just bought a pack of ring size adjusters, those little plastic things you can put on the ring. Um, I just ordered a pack of those for like $3 at Walmart and they'll be here tomorrow. So hopefully that'll take care of my problem with the ring being too big. My spider wart flowers are still hanging in there, y'all. They're still looking really nice. And this is like day three that I've had them on the altar. They are beautiful. And even more are blooming out in the forest. I'm circling back to the laundry now and I need to put my clothes in the dryer. Uh, my original plan for this vlog is I wanted to make an herbal bath oil but I was just getting ready to make it and getting out all of my supplies and I realized that I didn't have one of the oils I needed. I thought I had it. Um, so I'm gonna have to order that so we might have to wait until next week to do that one. 
But I got a couple more um, projects next week of things I want to make, a face wash and a bath oil. We'll see what else we can come up with. But now I gotta get my clothes drying, and as always, I uh, don't dry my dresses, my Disturbia dresses. I bought that dress that I tried on today. They had an Easter sale. Oh my God, I just realized I have more clothes in the dryer. Jesus, I need to take care of my laundry. My laundry's piling up. Don't you hate it when that happens? Well, I don't actually have clothes in the dryer. I have towels, but still. I wore so many dresses last week. I really like wearing dresses in the uh, spring and fall. I would just live in dresses if I had enough. But man, Disturbia is not cheap. That's why I always wait for a sale or buy things on clearance. And another thing that I wanna make of my own are dryer sheets. So right now I have these snuggle dryer sheets, but once I run out of those, um, I found a really nice like recipe somewhere. I don't remember even where it was. <sighs> But anyway, I saved it and uh, for making your own dryer sheets and basically you just need a cloth and some essential oil. So I think that's going to be another project I'm going to do really soon. All right, let me get this dryer going, y'all. So I don't feel like I've filmed very much today. This was definitely a mundane vlog, as I intended. But I also intended to do another project where we were going to make bath oil. That didn't work out. So I'm going to do something different. I am going to answer some viewer questions from my YouTube comments. So if I go into my YouTube studio and go to comments, I believe that I can search for comments by questions. Okay, yes, contains questions. So I'm just gonna go through and answer some of the questions that I've been asked recently. Um, okay, first question. Your hair's looking good. You've probably talked about it already, but what are you taking or using for your hair? It looks like it's thickened up. Um, it definitely has. I'm using topical minoxidil and I'm also on a prescription medication called spironolactone. And I also use rosemary in my homemade shampoo. So, but I believe the difference is due to the minoxidil. I'm gonna make a whole vlog about that soon. Um, oh, second question is also, am I gonna make a video on my hair? Yes, I am on my hair regime. Did you know there's gonna be a solar eclipse on the 8th? Yes, I did. Um, we are in the direct path of the solar eclipse. So the town where I live is going to be the busiest I think it's ever been. We, everything is like booked up. Oh, it's going to be a crazy weekend out there. But yes, I do know about the solar eclipse and we are in like prime viewing area. Uh, I love that mushroom journal. Where'd you get it? A subscriber sent it to me. I don't know where it came from. I'm sorry. Cindy, are you all right? Seriously? <laughs> Yes, I am the best I've ever been in my life. I am seriously happy. It's very strange to me that people think I'm in some kind of weird spiral or something. Dude, I am happy. For the first time in years, I am fucking happy. And that's what, this is what I look like when I'm happy. Okay, so please don't be concerned. I am doing fantastic. Thank you for your concern, I guess. Um, I guess it's just, you know, because I've been so depressed and so for so long, pretty much the entire time I've been on this channel. I guess people don't know what to make of me being happy, but um, I truly am. So <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. Was there another vlog a few days ago that was taken down? Yeah, I took two recent vlogs down. More questions about the vlogs being taken down. Yeah, I just didn't want to share that anymore. So um, if you're a member in my members only vlog um, for this week, I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about that but um, I really don't feel like I owe anybody an explanation if I want to remove my content at any time. I'm just gonna do it. So that's, there's your answer for that. Why don't you fire up your online? Also, I'm not reading any hateful questions because there are some in here and I choose to give those absolutely none of my energy whatsoever. Um, why don't you fire up your online business again? I am thinking about selling a few things as I talked about earlier. Um, I am thinking about selling a few things on eBay, but honestly, reselling is really a difficult business. You have to go out there and constantly find things that are valuable to resell. It's really a lot and I don't think in the area that I live in, I would really be able to make enough money doing it. It was different in Colorado because I had access to lots of auctions and like bigger cities and stuff, but here I just don't think I could make it. Do you name your plants? Some of them I do. If I feel like if a name comes to me, then I do. But I don't think any of these plants have names. My Chinese evergreen Maria, I used to, I used to call her Maria. Um, somebody asked where I got the blanket that's on my couch. It came from Walmart like last fall. I don't think they carry it anymore. Are you still moving out from this apartment? Um, I don't plan to, no. I don't plan to anytime soon since I'm by myself now and I'm pretty much settled in here. 
it's comfortable, I like it, I can afford it, I can have my dogs. So no, I don't plan on moving anytime soon. Okay, so I've gone back like a month and that's all the questions I could find that I haven't already answered. So um, yeah, I just wanted to do a little something for the end of the vlog since I couldn't do my original project. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me for this super mundane vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I've got lots more content planned for you coming up. I wanna say a special thanks to my members. Um, if you want to join me for our members only live streams every week, you can click the button down below to become a member. And also thank you to everyone who watches my vlogs. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. All right guys, I'll see you with a new video very soon. Bye. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to live this out We got